welcome or welcome back to Maya's Glow. Welcome to this month's vlog. So just to put it out there, this vlog is actually a bit more real time mm -hmm. than my previous vlog or where I left off my previous vlog. So I've been filming and filming and filming and I've just realized like I have a backlog of content in regards to vlogs that I actually need to put out so the next vlog you're going to see is a vlog that i shot way earlier actually the next two vlogs yes <laughs> i had shot earlier but um i've been trying to like put them out so you're going to see those ones but this one is a bit more real time because i'm so excited to be celebrating my 27th birthday this coming um wednesday so today is a sunday and i've just been feeling so many things um one of them being gratitude i'm just grateful to see another day see another year and also i've just been thinking about some things that i've been working through lately but also um in general the ways with which I've just been feeling different in a way over the years. Um, I've been feeling a bit of nostalgia as well. I've just been feeling like time is passing so fast and I'm just like, am I keeping up? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm missing out on so many different things and things are changing so fast. But I'm just trying to affirm myself and trying my best to be present. I actually did. A lovely meditation this morning and it's by one of my friends Dorina so she actually creates um, meditations that you can listen to I'm going to share with you guys her YouTube channel so that you can check them out but I just really needed to take time and um, center myself and ground myself and just be present before I start off my day it's such a lovely quiet calm sunday morning like the sun is coming out i can see the sky is getting blue and it's also quiet because there's no electricity <laughs> because kenya power mm -hmm. but anyway it's okay i'm having some coffee this is actually white coffee and i'm having it in my dove thermal cup and i'm also having something else which ah uh, I love so much because it's so delicious and it's this banana bread from quick match their banana bread is so good you guys like if you happen to be in quick mart um, just give it a try like I really enjoy um, eating it <laughs> okay so I brought you guys a little bit closer and I got myself a warm shawl and I wanted to talk about um, something i've been thinking about or i've been dealing with um especially now as i approach my birthday um and there's just a really hurtful situation that i recently went through um with a loved one and it's kind of been on my mind for a while especially now that i approach my birthday and i really just want to celebrate it i really just want to be in joy mode whatever that means <laughs> just basically to just feel happy to just feel all the good vibes that's basically what i'm trying to say and um i was thinking about the things that i want to celebrate and one of the things i really want to celebrate <clears throat> excuse my raspy voice is vulnerability i want to celebrate my vulnerability and the reason i want to celebrate it um is because of the ways with which it's something so positive but it has been weaponized against me um unfortunately by people that i love and trust um and it's been very difficult to work through <sighs> this situation but also other situations where my vulnerability has been used to hurt me um where me using my voice has been something that has been put down or shut down 
um, or it's been something that has been scapegoated, if that makes any sense. Um, and I want to celebrate it because I want to affirm myself. I want to, I want to validate the part of me that chooses to be vulnerable, the part of me that chooses to show up, the part of me that chooses to be transparent and honest. Because unfortunately, that's something that's not encouraged in today's world, both in personal relationships, but also in the collective. And I'm just really proud of myself. I'm just really proud of how I choose to be courageous and um, share how I feel, to share what I think, um, to share what I'm learning as well. Vulnerability doesn't always have to be about, you know, us having difficult conversations. It can also be about us just sharing what we are seeing and what we are learning. Um, and the thing about it is with vulnerability, you're you're never assured about how the other party will choose to either hold space or not hold space for you. Um, will choose to, again, weaponize that um, aspect of you or weaponize that um, thing that you choose to do, to speak up, to speak out. You're only assured of yourself. And I've been... Um, familiarizing myself with Brene Brown's teaching. Brene Brown is a shame and vulnerability expert and actually came across her through her very popular TED talk on vulnerability. And I've been going back to her content and uh, her work is just so affirming. Her work is just so uplifting. Her work is just so honest. Um, and I learn a lot from her in terms of the knowledge she shares, but also with how she chooses to be courageous and show up. Even when, you know, sometimes people will attack her or sometimes people will try and invalidate what she's saying. And it's just been amazing to, to have that content be something that I'm able to consume, something that I'm able to learn from, something that has affirmed me even in this journey that I'm walking through. And it's helped me again celebrate my vulnerability. <sighs> yeah, this situation was super harmful, super hurtful. Um, and it's something that I know and I have been taking time to work through, to heal through. Um, and I'm so grateful to my amazing friends who have been such a support system. I celebrate them for, for allowing me to step into my vulnerability um, and holding space for me. Like I even realized I struggled to open up with them because I was like, will I be shamed? Will I be gaslighted? Will I be invalidated? But I've received the complete opposite. I've been heard, I've been seen. I've been affirmed, I've been validated. Um, and there's this spiritual teacher who, she always talks about how the opposite of a negative experience is healing. Like he, to heal, you need to experience the opposite of that hurtful situation. So if someone um, lashed out at you, the opposite of that is to have someone be gentle with you. If someone insulted you, someone, the opposite of that is someone um, affirming you. It's just been so nourishing and so oh, calming and so healing and so soothing um, to heal within myself, but also to have a support system of people who are willing to allow me to 
be vulnerable and who are also by doing that allowing me to use my voice and even by doing this by speaking out by talking about these things it's actually me using my voice because i recognize the ways with which sometimes people in our lives can try and silence us and put us down in one way or another but i keep reminding myself like use your voice maya like your voice matters your voice has a place on this earth <laughs> whether it's a small little corner on the internet or even with my little support group or my support system um and i keep reminding myself of the importance of that so as i enter into my 27th year around the sun I just want to celebrate my vulnerability. I want to celebrate my sensitivity. I want to celebrate my ability to set boundaries. I want to celebrate my choice to be aware of what I will or will not tolerate in relationships, what I will or will not accept, my ability to call out and recognize abuse, my ability to choose joy and choose happiness even when I'm going through really painful periods because I try and remind myself this like you can't control what happens around you whether it's with people whether it's with your environment so yes as much as it's important to like take the time to recognize like what's happening around you and feel through it it's still important to make space or create room for joy for happiness like life is so short and we won't be here forever and we deserve joy we deserve happiness and i feel like because i've been through so many situations with um relationships where i've been hurt terribly whether it's through toxic behaviors or abuse or everything in between i feel like sometimes i'm constantly in a cycle of oh, i have to heal through this i have to heal through this then whenever i feel like i'm about to break through into a space of like calmness or into a space of mundanity that that's not even a word but you know nothing much happening someone does something really hurtful or something in my external environment just destabilizes me and i'm trying to like root myself and ground myself um so that i'm not constantly destabilized by my environment whether it's like my physical environment like the economy the government or even the people around me or the relationships in my life and um I feel like I've made a lot of progress in my life through that and that's why I'm celebrating choosing joy because best believe I'm going to enjoy this birthday I want to be present I want to have fun I'm so excited to show you guys what you are doing with a good friend of mine and I think one or two of her friends will also be present um, what we'll be doing for my birthday I just I just want to step into that space of happiness um, and to step into that space of wholesomeness regardless of what I'm feeling or going through with this particular situation and I'm going to be taking you guys along with me so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys on another day hey you guys so it's my birthday 29th of September it's a Wednesday such a ram random day in the middle of the week but i'm feeling so good i'm so excited about today and i'm actually at one of my best friend's house we're going to be having an exciting time today and i actually wanted to show you guys what i received earlier on today in the morning a beautiful <sighs> heaven sent <laughs> package from a friend of mine so i'm just going to insert that clip here so i have just received the most amazing surprise ever <laughs> like i'm so excited oh my gosh i'm starting my birthday on such a high note and it's this little um box of pastries and sandwiches like it's just come right on time in the morning just before i had my breakfast so 
you know what we're gonna do <laughs> and stuff fry for my friend and i because we're going to be having a little um at home type get together which i'll probably tell you guys more about in the vlog but uh, i'm just so happy about this like we have our food sorted and all this is thanks to an amazing friend of mine shout out to you donna like you've made my morning so special and you've made my birthday day <laughs> so special like i love food if you've been watching my vlogs this is something you know and I mean, I couldn't have thought of a better surprise. So today's plan is actually going to be a movie night slash movie date. And in one of my vlogs, I told you guys like the series that I've been watching and what I've really been enjoying um, in terms of like series and movies and had mentioned blood and water. And by the time I was actually putting out that specific vlog, I didn't know when the second season of that show is coming out so the second season is actually finally out and i'm so excited because i have been dying dying to watch the second season of this show and it came out less than a week ago um so i'm really excited to get into it and i've been avoiding any kind of content online that could be spoilers like i don't want any spoilers <laughs> i just want to enjoy the show so we're going to have that movie date with my friend and this is like my ootd of the day i did my makeup earlier on a purple liner it's been so long since i played with color so i was like i'm going to play color today and i did a purple liner lashes my everyday foundation routine and then i'm just wearing this white dress and i have this little purple um cloth belt and yeah i'm excited it's such a sunny beautiful day i'm actually standing in the balcony and <sighs> such a perfect day for my birthday So I actually forgot to mention that today I'm not just celebrating my birthday, I'm also celebrating a hundred videos, a hundred videos on my YouTube channel. I can't believe I finally hit that mark of a hundred videos. Like you guys, I've done this a hundred times, filmed a hundred times, edited a hundred times, published a hundred videos, actually over a hundred videos by the time this particular vlog is going up and I just feel so proud of myself and <sighs> that is one of the goals that I've been having most of the year actually I've just been getting closer and closer to that goal of a hundred videos and there are days where I've just been like I don't think I can make it <sighs> I'm tired I'm burnt out can I keep creating but something in me just told me like keep creating my keep putting out content and here we are a hundred videos so I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who's been supporting my journey who's been a part of my YouTube journey I really appreciate each and every one of you and also if you haven't subscribed you're already here please do subscribe and yeah now I'm just going to give you guys a bit of b-roll of my day hey you guys so it's the next day and i'm back home i had such a wonderful day on my birthday like <laughs> i had so much fun and honestly it just takes the simplest things to lift your moods and 
that movie night session that I had with my friend, everything, like, we had so much fun. We ended up doing more catching up than actually watching um, Blood and Water. So we still haven't finished all the episodes, so I'm excited to catch up and just finish up on those episodes because, oh my gosh, where we left it off, mm, if you haven't watched that show, please, please go and check it out. I had a wonderful day um a bit of a triggering moment today but i'm so glad i had my friend with me to like whew, walk me through or just hold me through a certain moment that i had today um and i just realized that one of the things that i struggle with and that i've really been working on is people pleasing and it's very wide <laughs> i'm not going to go in with any examples but i've been catching myself whenever i go into people pleasing patterns even if i don't need to show up in a certain in a certain situation i'm trying to remind myself like hey maya stop people pleasing um or hey maya you're people pleasing like just trying to keep myself accountable in that way and i had a moment today but I'm just so grateful to have had someone to, I don't know if I should say vent to, or to just share with what I'm working through. And I'm also glad that I get to share that with you guys here. I really hope that this space, this channel can be a safe space for you guys. Um, because I know that's really lacking in the world, both online and offline. And I really hope that this channel can be a safe space. Um, where we can feel free to share and learn from each other so i just wanted to share that with you guys and this vlog because i realized yesterday i was too caught up in the celebrations <laughs> to end the vlog and go in with a skincare product so i've actually just washed my face that's why you can see it's nice and dewy and that's because i want to use a product that i've been seeing but i've never tried before but i decided to um grab myself a pack today and it's the uncover um i am beautiful detoxifying green tea sheet mask and i've been seeing this brand for a while now especially since i do follow patricia kihoro i think she's such an amazing content creator and i've been wanting to try the sheet mask but for some reason i've never gotten the chance to grab myself a pack and so today when we were actually at super cosmetics with a friend of mine the packs were just right there at the teal and i decided to give it a try so i'm going to go in with this and i'll share with you guys what i think about it i'll also try the other varieties of their sheet masks and um hopefully i can share with you guys more in another video otherwise i want to end this vlog and just say thank you to each and every one of you guys who sent me birthday wishes good vibes loving messages like i really appreciate each and every one of you who made my day special and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video mapenzi tele